Hello, 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 and welcome to 12th House Tarot. My name is Renee, and today we are going to do a pick a card reading, a pick a pile reading for the topic of what is my inner truth. So, what is truth? Truth is something that we believe in. And when we say, oh, I believe I can do anything I put my mind to, but then you go and try to put your mind to it, but you end up failing. And why is that? It's because there's this underlying real truth that you actually believe in. So if you believe, if you tell yourself that you can do anything that you put your mind to, but really subconsciously you actually believe that you're worthless, for example, uh, you're not going to achieve the things that you want to achieve in this life. And this is something that I recently discovered in its exercises and self-help that I've been doing. And I just thought it would be a really cool idea to do a card reading to help other people out there delve deep into their subconscious and to discover what their real truths are. Because sometimes our real truths are actually really toxic things that we believe about ourselves that are actually lies. So a truth is something that you believe in, right? And so if we go deep into the subconscious and, and pull up our real truths that we actually believe in, then we can bring them to the surface for healing. And like an exercise that I did recently is I went and I wrote down what, what are your true beliefs? And it was a long list of just really bad things that I actually believed about myself. Like, I, I believe I'm not good enough, like things like that. And the list goes on and on. And so what you do after you write all these down is that you, you take a match or a lighter and you catch it on fire and kind of send it out to the universe and be like, these used to be my truths and now I'm letting them go. And then after that, you make a, a new list of things that you you want yourself to believe. You replace that negative with the positive. So today we have three groups. And the first group is Citrine. So whichever one you're called to. Okay. We've got the Citrine. And then we have this little thing of Rose Quartz. It's so tiny and adorable, I know. <laughs> and then we have this Selenite Heart. Okay, so just pause the video right now and meditate for a second. See which one you feel drawn to. And we're going to go ahead and get started with group one. We're going to go ahead and pull some tarot cards first. We're going to do two decks for what your, your real truth is. And then we'll pull from two other decks to see what advice I can give you in regards to healing these deep-rooted truths. Okay? Let's go ahead and shuffle. I already shuffled, but I figured give it a little bit more. Okay. Now, the people who picked the citrine, this is actually... I actually bought the citrine uh, a few weeks ago, and then I did some research. Apparently, 99% of citrine that's sold on the market is actually amethyst. It's actually not citrine. So this is probably actually amethyst, so just some random information. All right, what is group one's inner truth? What do they actually believe that they might not be aware of is their actual belief? Hmm. Okay, we got the Four of Cups, and the imagery on this, on these tarot cards is a little bit different. It's almost like this energy of being on the outside looking in, this detached, uh, feeling, feeling like you are different and always on the outside looking in. Maybe feeling like uh, you can never, it's like you're on the outside of a gate and you see all these other people socializing and doing their own thing. Well, you're on the outside and you feel kind of alone. Maybe subconsciously your inner truth is that I'll never fit in. I'll never, like I'll always be alone. I'll always be alone in this life. Okay. Let's get more to the story though. Death. Oh, wow. Okay, we got the death card here. So death... This is all about uh, these destroying of these foundations, like something that comes to an end within yourself. Maybe you've had a lot of like friendships or relationships that ended and you feel like you can never make new connections with people who are like you. Maybe you feel like an odd duck kind of thing. Okay, let's get one more card. Oh, you had two pop out. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely relationships and friendships. Yeah, you got the three of cups. So in this card, this is like people coming together 
Yeah, this is definitely, like, you might be a person who feels like you're always on the outskirts. And we have the Hermit here, so that really clarifies that. The Hermit's all about uh, going within for your answers. And let me tell you something, as someone who, you know, myself, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a Hermit. I'm going to say that, okay? Uh, whenever you're different, you do always feel alone. But just know that... You actually gain more clarity being on the outside because you see the world in a more broad perspective than other people. Most other people, they're just going with the flow of things while you see the world differently. And so you don't go with the flow. So instead of trying to force yourself to fit into boxes that don't align with who you are, like go create your own, your own, you know? Like don't be a square peg trying to fit into a circle. Go create your own square peg, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go ahead and get some more uh, clarifiers just to see what this is all connected with as well. Okay, can we clarify the Four of Cups? Let's clarify the Four of Cups. What is this person's inner truth? What is this person's inner truth? What is group one's inner truth that they might not realize about themselves? So here wants to pop out. Happiness. So this is the core of who you actually are, or who you were before you were cluttered with this feeling of not fitting in. Maybe whenever you were a kid you were like really happy and smiley kind of thing and then life kind of just happened to you and made you feel like you know you you weren't safe to fully be yourself because in this happiness card to smile and be happy you have to be so comfortable in your skin and as I'm saying that I'm getting pulled back to this death card where she's peeling her skin off of her body this is saying it's time to be vulnerable. And maybe you were, you've been feeling kind of vulnerable. Maybe you've like put your heart out on your sleeve. And you've been hurt multiple times. And it's like, well, I keep putting myself out there and I just keep getting burned. But the truth of the matter is, and I know I haven't gotten to the, the other cards over here yet. But you got to bring that energy back to yourself. Whenever you feel so comfortable in your skin, like what other people think about you doesn't matter and you'll eventually attract your tribe. Okay, please clarify the death card. Please clarify the death card. Transformation. That can't be more appropriate. So, I don't usually talk about the zodiacs and stuff, but some of y'all might be Scorpios. Just going to put that out there because we have death and we have transformation. I myself am a Scorpio, so you know what I'm saying. But this is transformation. This card actually speaks about times that you felt like you were by yourself. Nobody saw you crying. Nobody was there to pick you up. And this card of transformation, you are going to be coming out of this cocoon. And you're going to rise. And you're going to be the butterfly. And everyone's not going to... You're not going to be recognized. So all those times that you were alone, that was the time that the universe, God, whatever you want to call it, was molding and shaping you into who you are today. It's very beautiful. Like, in your alone time, you gained a broader perspective and it made you stronger. So your inner truth, you might, you feel like you're alone, but you have to realize that there's a reason for the detour. There's a reason why you were isolated and away from other people on the outskirts looking in. It's because you're meant for something bigger than following the herd. You're meant to be a leader in whatever it is that you're led to be a leader in. Like, you, you're a leader. You're not a follower. And it's time to own that. So, it's time to stop playing the victim. We got reconciliation. So, this card uh, speaks about not only reconciling with people that you have differences with, or people from your past, but this, this card also talks about reconciling with yourself. If you look at this picture, we have this lady right here, she's in white, and this one's in this kind of dark purple color. And it's like bringing your shadow and your light elements together as one, being complete within yourself. 
and then we have courage. So this card speaks about you've been feeling like you're small or left out or feeling like, you know, you're you're not powerful. And this card is coming to remind you that you are more powerful than you give yourself credit for. Okay, I didn't look at the bottom of these decks. Let me go ahead and check that out real quick. Like I said, look, the five of pentacles. Five is also the number of change. And with this card, with the imagery, it is that like on the outside looking in kind of energy, like feeling like you're left out in the cold, but you're not. And then we have manifestation. This alone time is actually giving you an opportunity to create the life that you want for yourself. You have the power in your hands to create the life that you want. There's a reason why you don't fit in. There's a reason why, you know, you don't feel fulfilled even when you do decide to go out. You're like, okay, I'll go out. And then, you know, you go to a party, let's say, and you can't relate with anybody. It's because you're not supposed to. Those are not your people. These are not your people. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's get some uh, advice cards because I could just pour out some advice. But let's just see what, what the universe has to say for you, okay? Let's get some numerology cards. Okay. What is some advice I could give to group one in regards to getting in alignment with a higher truth, a higher perspective? What is something I could give to group one? What does group one need to know? What is some advice I could give to group one? Karmic completion. Okay. So 10 is the number of completion and new beginnings. You've recently gone through a cycle and this is an end of a chapter. This is an end of a karmic cycle that you've been going through, feeling like you're alone. I feel like you're on the precipice of discovering who your real tribe is. And the thing about finding your real tribe is that you're going to have to get out of your comfort zone sometimes. Sometimes you're going to have to get out of the house and go to places that you feel like you would meet people who are more like-minded. Like and as an introvert myself, oh, that's terrifying, I'll tell you what. <laughs> What else can I give for group one? What else does group one need to know? With this oddball over here. Effort, what was I just saying? The number 13 and effort. So it's time to make an effort. Like I was just saying, make the effort. You gotta get out of your comfort zone. Don't give up. One more card for group one. What does group one need to know? Oh, shoot. Oh, you got two cards. Follow your dreams. Yeah. So we have eight and five. Eight is the number of karma of going up and down. It's also the number of finances. Finances and karma. What you put out there, you receive back. And then number five is all about transition and change. So you're going through major changes. That's why you feel so uncomfortable, but you need to align with your North Star. Don't pay attention to the, everybody else who's around you. Focus on yourself. Focus on what you actually want for your life because you have some sort of gift, some sort of talent that you're not putting into use. And you just get your focus off of other people because you, your current belief about yourself is that you'll never fit in and that you're not good enough. So whenever you're, you, let's say you're trying you know, to go after what, what it is you want in this life, but you feel like you, you're hitting roadblocks, it's because that it, that's that inner belief, you know, like I said in the beginning. And then we have teaching and learning. So five, like I said, we have two fives here, so this is about change. You're going through a change right now. And seven is about uh, spiritual routines and spiritual practices. But teaching and learning, this card really speaks about you are a teacher. You're a natural teacher. And see, we have this hermit card right here, too, that which makes me think of that because, hold on, my, my nail is making where I can't pick nothing up. <laughs> okay, so the hermit, the hermit, that person, they go within, like they go it alone and they, they have their North Star that they follow and they go forward. And with this alone time and this contemplation time of meditation and rediscovering what their truth is, 
you're you're a teacher because you've been through the dark night of the soul. You've had to release things that no longer serve you. And those negative lessons that you went through are actually something that you're going to take and you're going to teach people out there. Like, let's say you were an alcoholic, for example, and you went through the dark night of the soul, and then you found your own inner redemption by finding the strength within yourself to overcome that demon. And that would make you a person who could help other people who are battling the same demon. So I hope that makes sense for y'all. You are a natural teacher. You're meant to step up and be a teacher for other people. And sometimes, if you're unorthodox in how you do things, that's going to be the catalyst of change in our society. If you don't like the way things are, if you feel uncomfortable, you are supposed to be the change. Okay, okay, let's get one more clarifying deck right here. What else can I give for group one? Okay, I do want to say this song just popped in my head. Uh, Spirit speaks to me through music a lot of times with these readings. A uh, song that popped in my head just now. It is a Christian based song. I'm a spiritualist. I listen to all types of music. But it's called I Am Not Alone by Carrie Job. I Am Not Alone by Carrie Job. It goes, I am not alone. I am not alone. You will go before me. You will never leave me. Look that song up because that's kind of the energy of this. It's like even through the dark night of the soul, you need to hold on to. Whatever your faith is, you know, that higher power within yourself, you know, it's, you keep holding on because you're meant to follow your dreams and to be a teacher and you're not alone in this, even if you feel like you're alone. Okay, what else can I give for group one? advice I am humble so that's some advice right there as uh, staying humble you know as you do go towards your dreams which I feel like you are a humble person because whenever uh, because I've been through this myself where you feel like you're on the outside looking in you are humble because you can't fit in because you know maybe growing up you were picked on and stuff for being different but you are humble but there's strength in being humble because it makes you have grace. Being humble gives you grace to move instead of being pompous and arrogant, you know. Also, this is also a message for your future on being humble. Whenever you do rise to the top, uh, keep, keep that part of you. Because when we transition and transform and become a new creation... There are certain aspects of our past that we need to leave behind that are toxic, but there's also good good qualities of ourselves that we need to carry forth, like being humble. You were humble when you were in that low state. So whenever you do rise to the top, keep that. Like, don't let that go. Also right here, we have the crescent moon, and we have the crescent moon here. So, you're very intuitive. It's too many cards. Okay. Oh, there's two cards here. That's beautiful. I am open to love in various forms. So this is talking about love comes in so many different forms. It's just, it's time to stop looking at life in a linear perspective and start opening up your perspective, like the horizons need to open. Uh, start counting your blessings more because love, I mean, for example, if you have a dog or a cat, that's love. You know, embrace that. Embrace and be grateful for all the love that's in your life right now. Okay, and then the next card we have is, I am forgiving. In this card, she's shedding a tear, but she's... It, this, is, this goes back to that humble, it's reminding me. I am forgiving. You know, sometimes we never get the apology that we need, or the closure that we need from people who hurt us. But sometimes we have, to, we have to be the humble ones. And we have to forgive. Whether it's to their face 
or just to ourselves because sometimes you know circumstances make it to where we can't speak to that person but it's time to forgive those that hurt you or those who you know you couldn't fit in with and you felt like you know you were trying you were, you were giving and giving and giving but they were not reciprocating and there's something that you need to forgive that way you can move on to the next level it starts with forgiveness something a lot of people don't know like people think forgiveness and they think of like christianity and stuff like that but i actually believe that forgiveness ends the karmic cycles and here we have the karmic completion once you forgive those people from your past who have hurt you or people who are in your life right now who have hurt you that's going to be the key that unlocks the door to the next chapter so stay humble forgive and know that you have more to offer in this life and be courageous because you're going through a major transformation and you are not alone you are meant to be a leader and a teacher anything else oh let me check the bottom of these decks let me check these see look at there what i say i achieve with integrity you see she's clothed in white and she's looking up and there's other people next to her but she's looking up and she's she's empowered but she achieves with integrity it's not through being pompous like i told you so or you know it's being humble knowing that okay i'm about to transition i'm about to transform no no pride just just shed that skin transform it's gonna be hard but you can do it okay in the bottom of this deck adventure there's those fives again five 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 is the number of change and adventure. So this goes back to getting out of your comfort zone. When you get out of your comfort zone with the, whatever it's, it is that you're wanting to do with your life, that's also going to help catapult you to the next level. Okay, anything else I'm picking up? Let me see. Nope, I think that's it, y'all. Well, I really hope that this found you blessed. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, please like, share, subscribe, and all that good jazz, and I will see y'all in the next video. Now we are on to group two. chose the rose quartz little container this is for you it's so tiny and cute ain't it i just love it it's so adorable okay <laughs> let me get these shuffled real quick group two with the rose quartz okay let's see what your inner truth is Inner truth, like I said in the beginning, is what is in your subconscious, what is deep-rooted. I mean, this can even go back to your childhood, like things that you were told about yourself that aren't necessarily true, but they've become true for you, right? So it's something that you might, you know, and sometimes, sometimes you have good truths. I'm not, say, I'm not saying every deep-rooted truth is bad. I'm just saying there's some in there that are no bueno. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Just gotta get these shuffled real quick because, you know, you need to clear these energies out from group one. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull from two decks, a tarot deck and an oracle deck for uh, what your inner truths are and then we're going to pull from two these two decks over here for some advice on how you can you know better yourself to the next level to replace any negative truths with with better truths so that's what we're going to do we're going to raise quartz group two start off with the tarot deck okay what is group twos with the rose quartz inner truth what do they need to oops. Okay, that came out with group one. That's interesting. Three of Cups, 
Uh, this has to do with other people's energies and get-togethers and things like that. But let's go ahead and get some more cards just to clarify. It's like sharing cups with other people. What is group two's? Ooh, dang. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So we got the three of cups. The Prince of Cups, which is like the Knight of Cups. And we have the Magician. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So, what I'm feeling with this energy is that you're somebody who... You know what it is that you want in your life. You... Like, you, you're very comfortable in your skin, you know, comfortable in your emotions and what you want, what makes your heart happy, right? So we have the three of cups, which is, this is that coming together with, with uh, friends, uh, sharing cups and emotions with each other, feel good. But here's the prince of cups here. And even though there, like there's danger, like he's not scared, he's following his heart, even though there's danger there. So this is like some, like, you're, this is like networking kind of energy. Let's see what else I'm picking up with this. Hold on. Maybe you're inspired by others. You're inspired by others to go forward with things that you want for your life. I think this would be the group of people who have been doing a lot of inner work and you're trying, like you've been connecting with people who are like-minded. And it's almost like this, this synergy kind of energy. You're, you're a social butterfly and like, this is my extroverted group right here, I would have to say. Like, you, you get energy from being around people who flow like you do. You're comfortable around people who reflect who you are. It inspires you to want to create a more beautiful life for yourself, however that may look. With the Wheel of Fortune, like, like you're... The, the wheels are in motion kind of thing. Interesting. Okay, let's see, let's see what, we, what else we got. Can we clarify the Three of Cups? The word synergy is popping up. Synergy. Please clarify the Three of Cups. Why does the Three of Cups pop up? So your inner truth, you feel like you find your answers whenever you connect with people. You know, that you can have, like, emotional exchanges with. Like, you got to let it out. That way you can go forward, if that makes sense. Oh, look at there. Strength. So this card, this, this speaks about, you, you have, you have a strength about yourself. You're pretty confident in your inner truths. And we have a butterfly in this picture, too. So you may have recently went through some sort of transformation and it might have had to do with uh, your connections with others. This is the social butterfly group, okay? That's what I'm picking up, social butterflies. Please clarify the Prince of Cups. Ooh, too many cards, too many cards. <laughs> you feel like there's more to be discovered. It's okay. Here's also what I'm picking up is like, like you've been there, done that, next kind of thing. And okay, one thing I will have to say to, okay. Been there, done that, next. You might feel like you need to keep going after the next big thing is what I'm picking up. You have a lot of energy, but you got to learn to... Okay, you might not just be satisfied with things at face value, like you want more. Just be careful not to be a black hole is what I'm picking up. Okay, finding. Yeah. You're constantly searching for for more. If you hear a scratching, that is my cat on the other side. He's being a bad boy. <laughs> oh, here's those butterflies again. Yeah, just... You go where the wind takes you. It... 
It's like you want something more. Okay, you know what song just popped in my head? Uh, on Beauty and the Beast. Was it Beauty and the Beast? Yeah. Uh, where Belle is like, I want much more than this provincial life. That, that, you know, that, that song? The Bajor, the beginning song? It's that kind of energy, like, you, you know, you're a dreamer and you feel like, you know what, I've been here, next. You know, you want to create something else for yourself. Constantly looking, constantly finding, but you have a lot of strength within you. You, f you seem like you, you know what you want. The only thing to be heated is learn when to be still. That's what I'm picking up. Family, family with the magician. Oh, okay. Okay, this is a message for a select few people out there. You might feel like, uh, okay, this is literally for a select few people out there. You might feel like you've been in the dating game or just like kind of playing, playing the field a little bit for a while, but you're not satisfied with that. And you have this like inner void where you feel like you want to create in, like find somebody you can build a family with. Is what I'm picking up. Okay. On well, the bottom of the deck, we have Spirit Guide. Okay, so the universe is actually t telling you that there is something more for you. That you don't go towards things that are frivolous or uh, shallow. Shallow-minded is what I'm picking up. You need to learn how to make deeper connections. That's what the Spirit Guide card is coming out like that. Because it's saying... Like your guides, your angels, guardians, ancestors are telling you it's time to stop playing. It's time to get a little bit more serious. You know, start building a legacy for yourself. Don't, there's a word that I'm looking for. Don't be shallow. That's it. it like, I feel like you've been feeling like life's been kind of shallow being around shallow people. And you feel like you want a deeper connection with people. And the universe is guiding you towards creating not only a foundation with yourself. Well, it seems like you already know who you are, but you want to find, like, let's say a partner who reflect, reflects back your values. That way you can create, like, a serious relationship and in the future, like, build a family. Okay, let's go ahead and just get some advice cards, though. Let me just look at this real quick. Hold on. Now, with this family card, it also does speak about... Uh, okay, this is another message for somebody out there. Some of y'all have been running away from y'all's problems. And it's time to... Either A, confront family members and either apologize to them or make peace with your family members. That way you can create a life that's better for yourself. That way you don't have that resentment like hanging over you. That's a message for some people out there as well. Okay, let's go ahead and get some advice cards. What is some advice I could give for group two with the rose quartz? Some advice I can give group two. Compassion. Okay, so yeah, some of y'all need to be more compassionate with yourselves and with other people. Also, I'm getting, you need to be humble. If like, let's say you came from a family and you didn't fit in or something like that, and you had disagreements, like, make peace with that. Make peace with your upbringing. Okay. Because nine is the number of... See, it has two nines. Nine is the number of completions and endings. Also, nine reflects itself back to itself. So what you're putting out there is going to return back to you. So be compassionate with other people. Oh, ooh, dude. Nine again. Completion. Yeah, you're, 
no longer running away from your problems, no longer running away from uh, what's truly of value. Instead of going for the petty surface level thing, like it's time for you to set building blocks. This is the time of building blocks and this is a completion of a cycle. So if some of y'all been out there partying and stuff, universe is saying this is like you can't be thinking like that because your your core belief right here well give me just a second oh we got rebirth too wow yeah y'all are going through some major shifts some major changes completion and rebirth so let me just meditate on the energies real quick Yeah, y'all y'all are y'all are leaving that energy. Y'all are leaving the all play energy. Like y'all have played enough. You're having a new belief. It's like and you recognize that within yourself that there's something more to life than uh, to sh than shallow talk and shallow people. Y'all are getting away from the surface level things in life. And completion and finding, finding completion within yourself as well. In rebirth with the magician, yeah, y'all are, y'all are going towards being the master manifester of your own reality. And this is going to leave a legacy for your future family, whenever you take your yourself more seriously. Okay. Oh wow, what was I say? Okay, this is def a love partnership. So this, this is for the play-ins out here. That's what I'm picking up. There's no more play-in. Y'all are getting serious. Because you're deep, like, maybe you had some sort of childhood trauma or something like that. Or maybe you had, like, an absent parent and it made you think, you know, you started to reflect those things that your parents had, which was sometimes, you know, uh, being promiscuous, going out, not being serious in relationships. If you have, like, mama issues... Dating girls who are toxic. You're grow you're starting to grow up. Following with your heart. Realizing it's time to realize that, you know, you bring your love back to yourself, love yourself fully, to where you don't put yourself in those toxic situations. And then you come back a different person, and then you find people or like a love partner who actually has values. Somebody who's not just nasty and, you know, <laughs> trashy or nothing like that. Somebody who also wants to have, wants to build a life. Rose Quartz, y'all are, some of y'all the players, I'm just saying, y'all been the players, but y'all are flipping it around. There's a rebirth in the way that uh, you view your relationships, your partnerships. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more advice. What advice can I give group two? That was quick. I create harmony. What did I say? Like what you put out there, you will get back to yourself. So whenever you're in harmony with yourself, when you create harmony, when you have these building blocks, the word building block is really popping up for you guys. But whenever you have these building blocks of harmony that you create for yourself, it's going to have a ripple effect back to you. So let's say you you used to have this belief in yourself where you were not good enough or you couldn't ever really find love because you're scared of love because of your upbringing or something like that. Or you don't want to be tied down. This is like... I achieve with integrity. like rising up and then I listen to opposing opinions so this okay so something that some of y'all need to hear right now is that it's kind of like group one with swallowing your pride in regards to what which with y'all it has to do with family so uh, forgive others that didn't know how to love you properly 
If they only love you as much as they were loved. But I, I do feel you want better for yourself. You want to end these cycles that your parents may have continued on from their parents, you know. And you recognize those toxic patterns and you're like, no, I want something serious. But you achieve with integrity. You, you get back your integrity. Listening to opposing opinions. With this family card and rebirth. You might have some reconciliations with family members too. And that's going to be the key that opens the door to a future love partnership, let's say. That actually lasts instead of something that's just quick and gone the next day, you know. But you have the power to create the life that you want for yourself. We have the magician over here. In with Reaper. So y'all are y'all are changing. Like I'm, it's like I'm done playing. I don't want to play no more. I want to get serious about my life. And this card right here, I am accepting. So with the I am accepting card, what I'm picking up is like you're in full acceptance of who you are right now. Taking responsibility for your actions. Sometimes, you know, when we're younger, we, we make actions that we're not very proud of. And this instance is getting in my face. <laughs> but this is this is saying, like, I'm accepting. I am accepting where I am right now. And I know that there's something better coming if I just keep the faith. But I feel like your inner belief is that you felt like... It's like, I feel like... Oh, hold on, give me just a second. Let me tap in real quick. Your inner belief is integrity. That's what I'm picking up. Your inner belief is integrity. You want you want to be with people who feel like family. You don't want to be around people who don't feel like family to you. And you. This card right here with the I achieve with integrity, this person right here, she stands out from the rest of them. And for some of y'all with love, that's what you're looking for. You want somebody who's not all, you see all these different colors, yeah, they're appealing, but are they pure, pure intentions? You want to go forward with pure intentions, and you want somebody who's going to reflect those pure intentions back to you. Because you're definitely going through an ending right now within yourself. You're starting to realize what it is that you actually want for yourself. Anything else I'm picking up? Now this is a message for some of y'all out there. True strength is walking away and not saying anything. Sometimes people, you know, we, we bump heads with and, you know, they might say some hateful things, but like walk with integrity. Time to close that chapter with integrity, no matter what happened. Always hold on to your integrity is what I'm going to leave this with. Okay, if y'all liked this reading, please like, share, subscribe, and all that good jazz. And I will see y'all in the next video. Now on to group three. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, cinco, seis. Okay. Okay. Hello, group three. If you chose the heart selenite, this is your reading. Get these shuffled real quick. <laughs> what is group three's inner truth? What is their inner truth? Come here, Selenite. So this Selenite, I put in my purse a few weeks ago and it got all scratched up. 
So, I don't know, maybe your heart's a little scratched up, huh? Ain't we all? That's alright. We keep trucking along. Okay. Get all these shuffled up real quick. So, our inner beliefs. What's rooted in the subconscious mind. Things that maybe we believe from our childhood. That we don't realize we're still believing. Like, oh, you're too fat, you're too skinny, you're too this, you're too that. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to pull from a tarot deck and this oracle deck for to see some, you know, clarify what your inner truths are that you may not be aware of. And then we're going to pull from two oracle decks for some advice. So we got the cellulite. Let's pull from the tarot. What is group three's inner truth? Ooh, the devil. Dun, dun, dun. No, <laughs> the devil card just speaks about obsessions. Obsessive, uh, like your subconscious mind is it's on uh, auto replay, auto obsessing. You might not even be aware of it. And maybe you feel exhausted. And you're like, why am I so damn tired? Well, it's because, oh, dang, girl. Or boy, whatever. <laughs> it just startled me. Okay, we got all three major arcanas in this bottom deck. One wants to come out too. Okay. So we got the Devil card, and then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is uh, faded chances, cycles. This is a part of a cycle here. We have the star. Okay. And then we have the seven of cups. Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have the ten of cups. Okay, let me just like tune into the energy real quick. So with the Devil card here, this card speaks about obsessions, and sometimes it's like living in your flesh, it's the card of Capricorn, which yes, the Devil can be a bad thing, but in regards to actual symbology and stuff like that, this is, uh, if you think of Capricorn energy working towards things that we want in this life, like in the physical, but it's like, there's this because next to it we have the Wheel of Fortune. It's almost like you feel indecisive in regards to what it is you actually want for yourself. It's like fortune meets opportunity, but is it the right opportunity? In your inner truth, you feel like you can't trust yourself because maybe you made bad decisions in your past. And so that's hindered you from trusting yourself to move forward. Is what I'm picking up. So your inner truth is that you don't trust yourself because of the mistakes maybe of your past and what you've done. Right, let's just get some clarifiers real quick. Why did the devil pop out? Fighting. Fighting with the devil. Okay, let me see real quick. I get this feeling of feeling bound. You feel like you're obligated or bound to something. Okay, let's get a clarifier for the Wheel of Fortune. Let's just see how the story goes real quick. Let's start 
by the Wheel of Fortune. Looks or not as they appear. I don't know, I'm just picking that up. All that's glitter is not gold. You might think just because it looks good, it's like you have this mentality because it looks shiny means that it's right for me. Passion. Passion. Okay. Passion with the Wheel of Fortune. So we have that fire energy. You know what I was picking up is that also it's almost this uh, entitled energy where you, you, you went through a lot. And you feel like you have this opportunity. Well, you're like, damn right, I got this opportunity. It's almost like a cocky energy. I'm not going to lie. But it's like, you feel like you have the right to be cocky because of the bullshit that you went through. Let's get a clarifier for the star. Maybe you had to beat the devil. You know what I'm saying? In order to be God. As in, you had to go through those dark recesses of yourself. Or maybe you had, in the darkness, you found yourself. And so, I get kind of a phoenix energy. Out of the darkness, you faced, you faced your shadow, you faced yourself. But all that glitter is like gold. Don't, don't be pompous, okay? I know you've been through a lot. Stay humble. That's a repeating message here. Okay, can we please clarify the star? Home. The star with home. Home is where the heart is. You found home within yourself, but you, you had to you had to face those dark aspects of yourself, those fleshy aspects that we suppress, like our obsessions with not fitting in, or obsessions with uh, wanting to be better. But you you found it, you faced yourself, and so fortune meets opportunity. You're going forward passionately, and you're finding your home, you're making a wish upon a star. Watering yourself. But the thing is, is that you got a fire going. Don't let it burn up too much. So it tells you have to put the fire out a little bit. That's also another thing. Stay humble because the universe might put your fire out because you're being pompous. Please clarify the Seven of Cups. Please clarify the Seven of Cups. Entitlement. I think you feel entitled. Confidence. You're going forward with confidence and strength, though. A lot of fire energy in this reading. And I feel like you're starting to learn how to trust yourself, but you're not sure. And the universe is saying to go forward in confidence. And you have the strength. You need to heal yourself. Once you heal yourself, you'll, get, you'll become prosperous and stable within yourself. And you have a hidden talent. It's, it's time to water yourself. We didn't get the Ten of Cups at the bottom, so this is the inner completion. Happy home, happy life. I saw that just popped in my head. She works hard for the money. <laughs> so hard for the money. You worked hard for the money. Just stay humble. It's just what I'm feeling. Like you got the fires going. You feel passionate. You feel like you've succeeded. But there's just this. It's all. Like you feel all this. This beautiful energy. But underneath it. It's like. It's like I would say with this. Like. It's beautiful. It's a heart. But it's got these scars. So. Don't. Okay, our experiences will sometimes make us adapt uh, tougher skin 
uh, barriers, walls to other people. Just be careful not to be... Uh, it's like succeed in silence. Don't be so proud. Like flaunting what you got. Because confidence speaks for itself kind of thing. Because you have found yourself, because you've been through it, you've worked hard to get to this point. Okay, I do want to get some, some uh, advice cards real quick. What advice can I give group three? Gonna give group three. Love. Okay. So six is the number of nurturing and love. Uh, this kind of goes back to what I was saying with, uh, you know, whatever your heart's been scarred in the past and then you work your way up to better. Sometimes we build up barriers to other people. If you hear that scratching, that's my cat. Leo, stop it. Stop it. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, y'all. But love. Love should be the center of all that you do. You love you. I'm sorry about that, y'all. But love should be the center of all that you do. Don't let pride take away your blessing. Because whenever you reach a pinnacle of success within yourself, when you decide to be confident within yourself, once you've found who you truly are, if you go forward into your new chapter with pride, it's going to take everything that you worked for away. So make sure that love is your, your center focus in all that you do. Love and compassion. Okay, what else can I give for group? Okay. Parenting and domestic harmony. So we have actually three cards in regards to home. So this is either in regards to your actual household. And also, this is also a message for some of you people. Uh, some of you are obsessing about uh, your stability. Then we have the parenting card with 63. 6 is the number of nurturing and creativity, and as 3 is too with creativity. But this is saying with the parenting card, some of y'all out there have a gift with children, because with the Ten of Cups we have children here too. Y'all are natural teachers. Also, you had to learn how to parent yourself. That way you could be a better parent to your kids. Like, maybe if you didn't have parents that were very good at parenting. We have domestic harmony. So, like, something in your household is getting back into balance. And I think you've had this kind of obsessive, like, oh, or my duck's going to be in order. Let me see the bottom of this deck. Intuition. Yeah, it's time to start listening to your intuition more. And you know what I'm picking up with this over here? We have a, the devil card. He has these wings right here. But then we have the wheel of fortune. If I could get it up. Okay, there we go. The wheel of fortune. We also have this eagle. So you've risen, like the eagle, let's say with a... Okay, we have, okay, this is making me think of Scorpio in regards to the scorpion, the lizard, and the eagle. And then the scorpion will actually sting itself and sting others. The lizard is just a lizard and it thinks it's worthless. And then the eagle rises above the darkness and sees things from higher perspectives. So this is also telling me that it's time to gain higher perspectives of what it is you actually wish for in your life. Also, with some of y'all, if y'all are looking for like a happy home, 
this is like a wish upon a star kind of energy. This is a healing with the star card right here. This is healing energy. Lots of uh, domestic energy also. Um, parenting and domestic harmony. Uh, the scales are going to end up getting uh, balanced in your favor in your household. If you've been the warrior, worrying. I know I said warrior and then I got the word warrior. You're the warrior. You're probably protective of those that you're really close to. But it's time to make a decision to stand in confidence within yourself, like yourself is your own household kind of thing. Like your body is your home. So I'm getting like, it's time to bring your energy back to yourself if you've been putting your energy on other people. Okay, let's go ahead and get some more Oracle cards here. Also, be grateful for everything that you have in your life right now. Instead of obsessing about things that don't need your energy. Okay, what should I get for group three? I feel like y'all have really integrated your shadow into your being, but in a healthy way. I am peaceful. Yeah, this card really makes me think of what I was saying in the beginning. Where you had, you've had you been through a lot. And you see this this lady, her hair is really long. And there's the, uh, the hourglass here. Time has passed. And you view everything that you ever went through as just a lesson. Everything you went through was just a lesson. And you've grown from it. And you view, you are peaceful. You make peace with your past. And then... I benefit with gratitude. What was I just saying? It's time to be more grateful for what's in front of you. You might have all these options, but if you're not grateful for the small things, then you can't be blessed with the bigger things. Let's get one more. I'm being pulled to this uh, Taurus energy right here. And then we have the calf, which we are in Taurus season currently. Attributes of Taurus can be bullheaded, can be a hard worker, can be lazy sometimes. Also, can be overindulging. I'm getting a message for some of y'all. Y'all have been overindulging. But it's time to choose your health. Is what I'm picking up. It's time to take care of yourselves. Also, uh, I'm getting throat chakra meditation for you guys. I care for the earth. So this card speaks about instead of viewing. Okay, so the way I would I would talk about this card with I care for the earth is that instead of just existing and being a parasite, it speaks about okay, let's say you have you have an oyster and then some dirt gets into the oyster and it ends up crystallizing in the, what was a parasite actually turns into a pearl. And it makes me look back to this. It almost reminds me of the pearl. Well, there's, there's scratches on the pearl. But it's time to be grateful for all your experiences. I feel like this group has really attached themselves to their experiences and that's why they put up this hard shell and they worked really hard for what it is that they have in their life right now. And there's almost this protective purpose, almost Cancerian energy is what I'm picking up. And it's like you want to protect what you have. But it's time, instead of just being a parasite mindset while living on this earth, become the pearl. Be compassionate with your past. Start to bring your walls down. Allow yourself to heal. 
Heal yourself. Heal your home. Also, what's coming to mind is if you've been feeling depressed in any way, if you had your heart broken in any way. It makes me think back to this, uh, this video I watched on Jordan Peterson talking about if you could just make your bed every day. Like start with the small things. Like just make your bed every day. And once you make your bed, you'll look around and say, oh, I can straighten up my room. You straighten up your room, and then it extends outwardly to where you clean the whole house. And it's like, okay, I've conquered my home. How can I be of service out in my community? It's that kind of energy. It's like ripple effect. So do you want to stay in this this energy of, of you know, living in the flesh? Or will you allow yourself to be vulnerable, admit where you have these toxic traits about yourself? It's like you won't admit to yourself your toxic traits, but you need to face that shadow, which you, you know it's there. This is really a time to integrate and to forgive yourself, forgive those who hurt you. Because once you do that, once you make peace with your past or where you came from, realize... Look, look down at yourself and realize, I'm a different person. So if I'm a different person, I can't carry that hatred into my next chapter. Like it, when I'm picking up, it's time to be the adult. It's like amongst a field of weeds, be the dandelion. As I say that, I'm going back to the strength card, which has lions on it. Oh, what's on the bottom of this deck, too? I act respectfully of others. I act respectfully of others. Like I was just saying, no matter what they did to you, whoever it was, don't let, don't let them poison your water. Just because, just be, okay. Just because they walked over and they bumped you and knocked your water off don't mean you gotta take the cup and throw it up against their head kind of thing, you know. Because that's gonna block your blessing. Being bitter. Don't be bitter. Be grateful for the lessons that they gave you. Close that chapter. That way you can step into your fortune. That way you can step into what's meant for you. Because you have worked hard for this. Don't, don't ruin it by being bitter. And be grateful for everything that you have in your life, for those that love you and support you, those who are currently, like, be grateful for those who are in your life right now, your support system. Allow yourself to heal. And this is also a type for nurture, like, self-nurturing is what I'm also picking up. Alright, anything else I'm picking up? Yeah, I feel like you have changed a lot. Like where you were once probably like a quiet person, you're now starting to speak up for yourself. Just don't be bitter, okay? Focus on love. Okay, I think that's all I have for you guys. Uh, if you liked this, uh, please give it a like, share, and subscribe and whatnot. And all that good jazz. And I will see y'all in the next reading. Till next time. Ta-ta.